I saw Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. I literally have fucking notes. Like, I'm going to have to follow these through. Darren is not going to see this goddamn movie. No. He's not going to see it. I don't blame him. So I'm going to tell you what the hell happened. Mm -hmm. And why I think this movie is worse than The Last Jedi. Mm -hmm. So you saw the opening crawl. Yeah, well, I read it. Yeah, I read it. That's how we start the movie. So the opening crawl, it's literally, um, it could be another movie. It's just a whole bunch of stuff that they're just making, just making up. Mm. You know what I mean? So Palpatine comes back and he sends some trans, uh, some message out and people get the message of the threat that he's coming back. That's stupid as hell. Stupid as hell. You think that's a bad way to start a movie? The clip I sent you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's how the movie starts. Hold on. So right before that. Don't get me wrong. There is one quick scene, and it was dope. Kylo Ren is just, he's just massacring people. He's just mm. killing a whole bunch of people in, like, a forest. Like, he's trying to get information on how to get over to Sidious. Mm. Again, we j- that's just how it starts. We don't know why. We No build up to that. Just Kylo Ren's looking for Sidious. So he's taking out a bunch of people. And that was cool. And I was like, All right, okay. The next scene right after that, and that scene was, like, maybe a minute. Next scene after that is the beginning of that clip, okay. right? He shows up to where Sidious is. He goes in. I've been every voice inside your head. You know, that's mm-hmm. what Sidious says. So <laughs> remember the quote from Palpatine, um, the dark side is the path to many abilities. Some would. Yep. So picture this, right? He starts saying that, and that's the reveal of Palpatine. They show you Palpatine within 10 minutes of this movie. Ten wow. fucking minutes. They just showed me them, and I'm like, "That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing." So it leads up to that. Some people uh, may, uh, what, what does he say? Yeah, I know the quote. Some people yeah. may find the powers of the dark side, yeah, immoral yeah, unnatural. or natural, yeah, yeah. And then it shows him. Look, remember when I was saying, I just want to see Sidious. I know when that moment happens that I see Sidious, I'm just gonna get giddy, mm-hmm. you know, because. I, that didn't fucking happen. <laughs> Sidious has like he doesn't have his yellow orange eyes. They're just whited out, and he just looked he looked fucked up. But I mean, I, I he was dead, I guess. For I don't know that that, but it just shows him right off the bat. And then he starts having dialogue with Kylo, and they're talking. About, he's like, "You need to kill Rey. I know what she can become. I need you to take her out, and then you can take over my whole fleet." And then it cuts to a scene, and all the Star Destroyers are just in the sky that, with the lightning. Remember the scene in the trailer? It just cuts to that. I guess they're just sitting there hovering, ready. whole bunch of them. Where are they? There's a name. There's a fucking name of the place that Sidious is, but oh. I can't remember the name. But he's at some place, and there's all these... I, I don't even know. There's these hooded people. You can't see them. There's just whole crowds of them, like, chanting... In this cave that Sidious has been living in. And he's been every voice inside Kylo's head. He created Snoke. What the fuck? Palpatine created Snoke. And it was just just manipulation to get Kylo to go to the dark side. He created him. What? Cut to (laughs) next scene. Wait a minute. (laughs) What do you mean, though? You're going to say that a lot, and I'm not going to be able to explain it to you because the movie didn't tell me. He created Snoke? He created Snoke, and it showed this, like, big tube like that would have, like, a body specimen in it, and it was just, like, two Snoke heads. I guess he has more of them. Are he you just created shitting Snoke. me? He just created Snoke. I can't explain to you why because the movie didn't tell me why. You got to be fucking kidding me. That's bad, dog. You gotta roll through. Because you're gonna have that feeling a lot. Uh, that That's not, like, this. it gets worse. That's so bad. So we cut to Ray, and she's just floating in the, she's floating in the sky trying to talk to someone through the force. Mm-hmm. Like, we don't know at that point. There's rocks around her. And I'm like, okay, she's floating, and then she, like, does this backflip and, like, lands, and it looked like like she has superpowers, like she was Superman. She just lands. So Leia's been training Rey. Yeah, okay, I got okay. that. So, Which is bullshit. 
we'll get to that after. There's more to that too. So Leia's been training Ray for this whole time. Uh, Ray is <laughs> just wait. She's so goddamn powerful. Holy fuck. Um, the scenes that they used with Leia. You know how they took only scenes from Force Awakens? Yeah, yeah. It didn't feel right at all. There was times when Ray was talking to Leia, and Leia would just be like... And then she would... Her reply could have been the reply to so many things. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And then I was thinking to myself, I'm like, well, am I thinking that too much because I know it's from Force Awakens? And I'm mm -hmm. like, no, because she's barely saying anything. Uh -huh. She doesn't have dialogue to what's going on like she did in The Last Jedi right. or Force Awakens, mm -hmm. it felt so, so awkward. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes sense. So Ray and Kylo are still doing the Force FaceTime thing. Okay, see, that doesn't make sense because the, the only reason why that was happening was because Snoke was doing it. We'll also get to that. So they're doing the the Force FaceTime thing, and in the conversation with Palpatine, Palpatine's like, "You don't even know who this girl is," and then uh, Kylo's kind of like, well, "Who is she?" And then you, you don't know. So Kylo starts telling Ray, "I know who you are," like using the Force FaceTime, mm -hmm. and basically everyone's in a panic because everyone knows Palpatine is back. So like, war's about to start. That what they're trying to do is, she's trying. There's like this compass. That points you to the Sith in the cave that Palpatine is in. Mm -hmm. So that's like her mission. She's looking for this fucking compass. Mm -hmm. It's funny. I got to look back to my nose. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> so she's on the mission for the compass, right? And then Lando pops up. Lando is the one who tells her where to go find the compass. I, I didn't mind Lando in the movie. I really didn't. He had a very small part. I liked what he was in. It was whatever. Mm -hmm. So there's this fucking scene, right? They think that Chewie, Kylo Ren shows up to this planet that they're on because where they met Lando. Mm -hmm. They think Chewie got captured on the ship that was uh, one of Kylo's ships. So it starts taking off. Ray uses the force and holds the fucking ship. So Kylo comes out and <laughs> he's holding the ship and they're fighting over it. And Ray shoots lightning out of her hands and blows the ship up. What the fuck? What next, the fuck? Next, they don't explain it? No. They don't explain it. No, no we'll find How big it. was no, the we'll ship? How it. big was the ship? It was like, it was a pretty big fucking ship. It wasn't no fucking little speeder cruiser. It was it's a ship. It's not a TIE fighter or nothing like that? No, it was, it was a ship. She blew it up. She blew it up with lightning that shot out of her hands by accident. She didn't mean to do it. How much lightning came out of her fucking hand? <laughs> Just wait. So next. <laughs> All right. So remember the C-3PO thing? We thought he was going to die, the red eyes. Yeah, So what happens though. is he doesn't die. The no. red eyes is he has, he can translate Sith language, mm -hmm. and they need him to translate this Sith message. Mm -hmm. But what happens is if he does it, it's going to wipe his heart, like wipe his memory, mm -hmm. the reset it. So that's what happens. And that's mm -hmm. why I say I'm looking at my friends for the last time. But um, R2-D2 puts it back like 30 minutes later, so it's great. <laughs> um, <laughs> Stupid as fuck. So then back to, so they head to a uh, rescue mission to go get Chewie. They're on the ship. And then uh, Ray has this feeling that she has to go get this dagger that's on the ship. That's going to help her find the Death Star. We'll also get that to that. What after. the fuck? A she dagger? She gets that a feeling too. It was fucking ridiculous. Anyway, we'll get to that after. So they go on this rescue thing and Jesus. back to Ray and Kylo FaceTime, right? He's like, I know who your parents are. And she, he, I guess she's starting to figure it out too. She's starting to remember, and but she's kind of pushing it away. And he's like, um, "Your your parents did sell you to smugglers, but they sold you to save you from Palpatine because Palpatine was looking for you. So Palpatine had them killed because they wouldn't tell him where she was." You got to be fucking kidding me! That's terrible. Palpatine being back doesn't even make sense. We're not. We're not even close to the most Jesus bullshit. Christ, it gets so, so stupid. 
It's so bad. Yeah, because I guess Palpatine, Palpatine knew what she would become. Palpatine's dead. So you push through a little more, a little more dialogue, and he's like, "You really don't know who you are, do you? Why do you think Palpatine's looking for you? You're his granddaughter. Really? Ray's a Palpatine. Palpatine had a son. No, he didn't." <laughs> No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. We're not done. Nope. We're not even done. No. Palpatine had a son. The son fucked someone. Had Ray. Oh, come on. So Ray is Palpatine's granddaughter. And that's why she was able to shoot the lightning out of her hand by accident. She's that's why she's so powerful. It doesn't it was work his plan like that. to have a kid that would have a kid. Why wouldn't you just make your kid be that powerful one? If that's your whole plan, why it be your granddaughter? No one that doesn't even make any sense. This, her parents would be more powerful than she is if that's the case. Doesn't work like that. Doesn't even work like that. It doesn't. No. Fast forward. Her parents would be the shit, dog. You're... Oh, they were. They were just. They were just regular people. That's what I didn't get either. No, they would be. And then you think about it. What's so goddamn funny is when it showed her parents, like they weren't that old. So when you think about it, like timeline wise, Sidious was Sidious. Like, did he just put his specimen in someone or was he fucking? Because I want to know. <laughs> and then his kids, his kids, he didn't train his kids. No. Why would it skip right to, why, why uh, like, would he wait for the granddaughter to Like Anakin do it? Skywalker, when he was a kid, mm -hmm. he had a lot of high man, chlorian, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, you have to train that. Mm -hmm. Like, you have a lot of potential, but you need to be trained. Okay, so the parents, if, if, if Look, the parents came out and they weren't trained, so be it. But Ray wasn't either. Ray wasn't trained at all. There, there fuck. That's there's terrible. no fucking there's logic no, in this yeah, goddamn no. movie. Right, right. It's so bad. Now we're halfway through. Let let me just explain why I think this is worse than the Last Jedi. I kind of mentioned it earlier when we were talking. The Last Jedi to me was like, all right, all right, all right. That's bullshit. All right, all right, all right. That's bullshit. I sat through this movie, and every time it cut to another scene, I was not on board. Oh, okay, yeah. Something else, and that's not... It was flying through scenes. It was trying to set up a whole nother move. It was trying to put two movies in one. Mm -hmm. Like, the pacing was ridiculous. Like, we, we did so much in, like, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So much. So, right. They show up at the Death Star... Because she uses the dagger. She, like, picks up the dagger, and she, like, points it in front of the Death Star, and it has, like, this thing coming out of the dagger, and there's, like, blood on it. And she's like, that's where we gotta go. And I'm like, what is going on? The fuck does a dagger have anything to do with the Death the Star? What the fuck is the Death Star doing there? Anyway. Death Star blew up. <laughs> it did. It, it blew up. It, it got blew up fucked entirely. twice. Yeah. And, I mean, it blew Both up Both times, nothing. it got fucked yeah, to the point it, where it wouldn't it, have been able to land it, there. No. It completely Whatever. exploded. Anyway. They go in there. Stupid. <laughs> they go. She goes into the Death Star alone, and basically she walks into this room. She's looking for the compass to lead her to Sidious. So she walks into this room that's kind of like the Yoda cave. Mm -hmm. Like you see something. That's where she sees Dark Side Ray, mm -hmm. and they have this quick little lightsaber fight, which it was kind of dope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of dope seeing them go at it because Dark Side Ray. She was dark, like she like hissed at like Ray, and it was mm. crazy. I I like that. I wish we could see more of that dark side Ray. I wish she just turned to the fucking dark side. Right. Just seeing that. So then she comes out. Fucking Kylo's already there, waiting for her. They have some dialogue, whatever. He breaks the compass. They have a lightsaber battle. Now, I think that lightsaber battle when they're on the ship, mm -hmm. I really liked it. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is dope, and I couldn't help but think to myself. This would be so dope if it was earned. Yeah, yeah. If there was training, it was all leading up to this fight up. It would have been so great. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I have to tell you this. <laughs> so they're fighting and Leia. Oh, it gets no. Oh, my God. It gets foreshadowed, you know, that she she's going to have to use all her power to talk to Kylo. So she uses all her force and she says Ben to Kylo. Mm -hmm. And Kylo stops. And he drops the lightsaber. And Ray stabs Kylo in the chest. 
and Leia drops and dies. Leia dies? Leia dies. Right okay. there. So then... Why would she die? She used all her power to say Ben. Um, <laughs> so, and I guess that one stab, that, that was fucking it. Like, I guess that was enough to kill her because she was, like, connected to Ben. So I'm guessing Ray killed Leia? Is that what they're fucking trying to tell me? Because they can suck my dick. <laughs> so, then there's this moment... I, uh, Kylo gets conflicted immediately. It's all it took. It was like Martha in Batman vs. Superman. It's all it fucking took. So Ray puts her hand over Kylo's chest and just heals his wound. And then he's just conflicted right there. Cut to next scene. He's standing there just thinking about everything that just happened. And Han Solo, his ghost? It wasn't a Force ghost. I guess his ghost showed up. And talked to Kylo, said that he's still, you know, like he's still Ben Solo, and that he's not Kylo Ren. And Kylo's like, no, no, I, I Kylo Ben is dead. And then I, some dialogue, dialogue, and he's Ben Solo again. Wow. So then fucking Ray Ray gets pissed. She goes back to the island that Luke was at in Last Jedi. She goes back there. She's freaking out, throwing shit. She takes the lightsaber that. Exploded in Last Jedi, but a fuck it, right? She just has a, the lightsaber's just there, no explanation. The, the, expo- the, the one that they fought yeah, over, and yeah, it- yeah, she just has that lightsaber. It's it's bad. Jesus yeah. Christ! So she throws it into the fire, and Force Ghost Luke catches it, and then comes out and has some dialogue. Uh, he knew the whole time that she was a Palpatine. I guess Leia did too. Pissed Ray off. They um, knew the whole time. Then Force Ghost Luke lifts a ship out of the water for Ray to fly to go ahead to Sidious after he gives her something to find Sidious because Kylo broke it, so she needs something else. So he just tells her it's in the cave behind a fucking rock, and she grabs it and goes, and now she's off to go find Sidious. He knows the whole time. He knew the whole time. So apparently. he knew Palpatine was alive? I guess so. I guess so. Yep. He knew. He knew she was a Palpatine. And so did Leia. How? That doesn't make it... How? Why? Why would they even put that in the movie? Why? I knew the whole time. Why would he need to say that? Why would he be like, who the fuck are you? Didn't he say... Didn't he say he didn't know who she was? It doesn't matter. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I hate matter. to just be so blunt about it, it but it's like we can just what uh, it doesn't fucking matter it, it, and i figured that out 15 20 minutes into that's terrible i can't believe they did that but then it cuts to this flashback scene which i actually liked it was luke training uh leia and it looked like it took place they used the cgi de-aging mm. well i guess they used complete cgi for leia mm. but um it looked like it took place like not long after return of the jedi Mm. and he's training her Mm. and i guess she had this vision that her son was gonna die and someone was gonna have to take on the mantle and she left her lightsaber for whoever would take on the mantle Mm. i guess from there um Luke gives it to Ray on the island. That's right. That's yeah, okay. Right. That's why, see, that's why I got to refer to my notes. I don't want to forget anything <laughs> important. <laughs> anyway, and then Ray, Ray heads over to Sidious. And Sidious basically gives the speech that he gave to Luke. Like, you can take this all over. Strike me down. He literally, it was so funny. He, he put his neck up. Oh, God, it was so funny. I, I You have to see it. You know what <laughs> I mean? He's like, Strike me down, blah, 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 and take over as Empress Palpatine, he calls her. And this was his plan the whole time for her to take over Mm -hmm. as him. I guess all the Sith live within Palpatine. What? What? All of the Sith. What do you mean? I don't know. All of the Sith live within Palpatine. And I'll get a little bit more. What do you mean by that? Why are you saying that? All the dead Sith, their power, their spirit, they all live within Palpatine? How? Why why are you saying Is there a scene where they all come together? No, he just says it. 
He just says it. Mm-hmm. He says that all the Sith before him. Yeah, someone else says it too. Hold on. So. So basically, while they're having that dialogue, Ben Solo is on his way. I'm gonna call him Ben Solo because they literally changed Kylo's appearance completely. He has nothing that he had on. He just has black pants and like a black long sleeve on, and that's it. So he um he fucking dropped his lightsaber. He threw it after he talked to Han Solo. He got rid of his lightsaber. He doesn't have it anymore. Oh that's when you know like, he's to Ben Solo. So he's running fucking to where Ray is with um with a blaster. And um, basically, when he gets in there, he gets surrounded by, oh, yeah, the Knights of Ren are in this movie. That's right. I forgot. That's because they don't fucking say a goddamn word, and they're just randomly thrown in scenes with no... It's like they're not even paying attention to them. It's like, oh, there's the Knights of Ren. I, that's it. Jesus that's Christ. It. Anyway, so they surround them because, like, they're part of Team Palpatine. And um, so... <laughs> Ray's like, all right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to trick Palpatine. I'm going to tell him that I'm down. Like, that's what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to really be down. And he falls for it somehow. I mean, after everything he's done, he's back. He did all this shit, but he fell for the He was able to create Snoke and be a voice in Kylo's head, and he connected Kylo and Ray fucking their... I don't even know. Through Snoke? Snoke? Through Snoke? No, he didn't do it through Snoke. He was doing it, but... And Snoke Snoke just took credit for it? Yeah, he was the puppet. He has a whole bunch of them. They're in a tube. Um, But how does he do force powers? How does Snoke do that? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Doug, I don't know. I I don't know. That's bad. That's just what... That's bad. Don't shoot the messenger, you know what I mean? That's just what they told me. So then they have this scene where Ray he puts his neck back. Ray goes to strike him down, puts her hand behind her fucking back, comes back, and the lightsaber's gone. She teleported it to Kylo. Teleported the lightsaber? Yeah. Like Nightcrawler. <laughs> Just in his hand. Um, so he uses that lightsaber to take down... You gotta be kidding. I'm not... No. She teleported it? It just... It disappeared, and, and, and he and, had it. And then he had the lightsaber because he was surrounded by the Knights of Ren. So Where, he but it. he wasn't ne- next to her. It didn't fly through no. another room. No. It just... He put it... She, they Dr. weren't even Manhattan. near each other. They were in the same cave. You know what I mean? But it he just got in there and got... Fu- he just comes back. He's gone. And he's just... So he takes out the Knights of Ren. He's fucking running towards her. Jesus so they Christ. both run up to Palpatine, and Palpatine's like, oh, you're both together. This is just what I needed. Um, you're going to ask me to explain this more, but I'm not going to be able to. He takes their force spirit thing? No, because they're not dead. I don't know. The connection that he used to put them together, he sucks it out of both of them. Mm-hmm. And then, like, his shirt changes. It gets a little red. Changes his attire. He looks fly. And he, I guess that's what he needed to become the most powerful Sith. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh, yeah. So then... <laughs> Why are you saying that? <laughs> like, I'm lying to you. I told you you're not going to be able to believe a lot of things I'm going to be telling you. So then, um, so, forgot to mention this. Who gives a fuck, right? So, Poe and the Resistance, they're having this space battle, you know, Star Wars, mm-hmm. with, uh, like, Sidious's The army. horses, the space horses. No, they, this, they, that wasn't even a thing. They, they just rode up in one scene, people were on them, but that, it wasn't. They didn't say anything. It wasn't a whole big thing. I thought it was going to be. Jesus Christ. So it was just... I, like, I didn't think about it till after. I was like, was there any space horses in it? I'm okay. Like, oh, I guess she was on a horse. Anyway, so he becomes all powerful, which in my eyes, I mean, he's already all powerful, but I guess he can't like... I don't know, because he could walk before. I don't know what makes him all powerful, but I guess this next scene made him all powerful because... They're having a space battle, and he shoots lightning into the sky and starts destroying mag ships. 
<laughs> mag <laughs> ships. Mag ships. All right. So Ray's, after they suck the fucking thing out of him, Ray and Kylo are just laying on the ground. You know what I mean? And Ray's just looking up. And then all of a sudden, all these voices start talking to her. So you hear Mace Windu. You hear Samuel L. Jackson. Mm-hmm. Obi-Wan. They're all like, we all live inside you. All the Jedi live inside Rey. Are you All their me? spirits, they all live inside her. Uh, Ahsoka's voice was there. I, as soon as I heard it, I was like, that was Ahsoka. Like, that, I know her. I, Why that, I know is that, that girl's happening? I, I don't know. Um, uh, Anakin, I did, we didn't get to see Anakin. I really wanted that. You could have gave me something. I mean, I guess they were. This movie... <laughs> With it, I can't really call it fan service because, no. quite frankly, I no. wasn't a fan. No, <laughs> like Endgame that last hour, some bullshit happened, but that was fan service, mm-hmm. and I was eating it up. Mm-hmm. And that's what I wanted. I knew it wouldn't be to the extent because even then, you know, that Endgame, even with that fucked up shit, it's still yeah. gonna be better than whatever we were gonna get. But yeah. I wanted some enjoyment, but I couldn't, I couldn't get it okay, because so, it was so ridiculous. I, I'm not how does this end? So they all live in her. So she stands up and she pulls out her lightsaber. Oh yeah, that's right. When, cause they're about to go fight Palpatine and then, uh, cause Kylo shows up with the lightsaber and then Ray pulls out another lightsaber. So I guess she had two lightsabers. I think that's the lightsaber that was Leia's, but like. She didn't have two fucking lightsabers on her. She only had one. I teleported it. Whatever. Um, yeah, I guess so. All powerful, almighty. Um, so they all live inside her. She gets up, uses it, uh, the lightsaber, while he uses, mind you, the same lightning he was using to destroy dozens of ships. He shoots it at her lightsaber and she just holds the shit. And then there, I think there's some more dialogue. I don't fucking know. I checked out so many goddamn times. So mm-hmm. then she pulls out another lightsaber. Another one? Yeah, she, this one I saw come to her. She has it. It was Kylo's. Oh, okay. And she uses two. And the four, uh, basically what happened with Mace Windu and Sidious, when he, the, mm-hmm. it went back at him and he was getting electrocuted. That's what happens. And she just kills him. Okay. Yeah. So in my opinion, it gets worse. <laughs> my opinion I when I was at the, when I was at that point in the movie I was like this movie can't get any worse this movie is one of All right, said so, this to people it's one of the worst movie experiences I've ever had in my entire life I don't doubt it hands down like I thought Last Jedi was bad and I walked into this and I was like so what happens now how does this end? Okay, so... I just want us to end. Ray like, dies and falls back, and Kylo wakes up, and Kylo looks at her and, like, holds her and is just looking at her like, fuck, like, she's dead. Because I guess they fuck with each other. Even though... Well, you know, I guess, yeah, they do fuck with... Because Kylo has been trying to get her to join him, even in Last yeah, Jedi. Yeah. So there's, like, that connection. Um, and then she wakes up. Like, she was pale as shit. Like, I'm, I'm, she was dead. <laughs> and uh. then she wakes up, looks at him, they gaze, and then they kiss. And right after they're done kissing, Kylo just falls and dies. No reason. No explanation as to what happened. Okay. And then what? Ray gets up and dips, and they have a celebration. That's it? No, 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 no. It gets worse. But that's like... So after the celebration... <laughs> after the celebration, Ray heads to Tatooine. Um, she goes to where Luke was living with his uncle uh, Luke. Not Luke. Uh, uncle... The fuck, fuck is his name? His uncle. Luke Skywalker's uncle. Yeah. Uncle Owen. That's his name. Okay, yeah. Uncle Owen and his aunt. Um, she goes back to there. You know, because... I, I mean, nostalgia, fan service... Yeah, fan service. J.J. Abrams was chucking it at us the entire movie. Um, She goes back there to bury Leia and Luke's lightsabers Mm -hmm. to lay them to peace, I guess. Um, And then after she buries them, 
some random alien shows up and looks at her and she goes, the alien goes, I haven't seen anyone around here in a long time. Who are you? And Ray's like, I'm Ray. And then the alien's like, Ray who? And Ray glances over at Force Ghost Luke and Leia and says, Ray Skywalker. And then, wow. Wow. So she just takes on the name Skywalker, even though she's not one. She's a Palpatine. She's a Palpatine. But but she's just saying she's Skywalker. Skywalker, because I don't know. That's, wow. That did get worse. That's terrible. That's a travesty. That's really bad. I don't understand. I don't understand what the fuck I watched. Dog, I There's so much about that it. movie that I can't even... I can get myself to like some shitty movies. I really can. I can be like, all right, like shitty, I'll ignore that. Let me get some satisfaction. They were throwing... He was throwing so much nostalgia and and just fan service, it, fan service after fan service. So much things, I can't even begin to start naming them all. Like, at the end, they just show Endor and Ewoks. Randomly, and then uh, Chewie gets a medal. You know how that's a thing. Chewie didn't get his medal, and then they give Chewie a medal. Um, a whole bunch, a whole bunch of things. Um, and the fan service was just so bad that I couldn't even enjoy it. I didn't enjoy the movie. I didn't. I was. So I would have left. I wanted to, but I had to see how how it ended. I'm already sitting there in the fucking movie theater. It's already so bad. I'm like, how? This movie's so goddamn bad. How are you? How is it gonna end? It's going to be shit. I have to see it. Honestly, I had the feeling I wanted to get up and leave after she defeated Palpatine. That was over. I'm like, do I even have to see? I don't understand why Kylo even died. He's just dead. And that's just Yeah, it. they it's kissed. Just, that, and he just dies. He and just they, and, that, and they, they don't out talk dies. about it. And that's, just, that's he's it. He's dead. He's just gone. He's redeemed. Which I don't fucking forgive him. He killed Han Solo. I mean, Han Solo can come back and have a fucking talk with him as a ghost. I don't even know how that makes sense. But whatever. And that just, he just throws his fucking lightsaber. That's so bad. That is so bad. And that is so obviously not what the original story was. Exactly. And J.J. Abrams was like, oh, it was my plan to use Sidious the whole time. And this movie, I don't even believe it. This movie oh, made it so blatant to me. Like, no, it wasn't. Well, uh, dog, I, I think, feel like this was your backup plan. Like, you set up Snoke for a reason. Yeah, I, don't I think, think that I was think it. I, he said Sidious was supposed to make an appearance from day one. Mm-hmm. Fine, fine. Mace Windu can make an appearance from day one. That doesn't mean he has to be the the center. He could be a ghost in in thirty seconds of the film. He, he that's all. J.J. Abrams said. J.J. Abrams. All he said was. Palpatine was supposed to make an appearance in the saga, or he was supposed to be in it at, at from the beginning. He was supposed to have a, a role. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm not mm-hmm. even... That could be totally fine. No. So we got fucking cut off. We have no idea why. This movie sucks. It's yeah. terrible. It's, my, it's the I, it's, worst Star Wars movie I've ever seen in my life. And I can't believe I said that after seeing The Last Jedi. But this... Last Jedi attempted to be a good... Like, Ryan Johnson was trying to make a good movie. He, he just... He didn't Was he? It. In his eyes... It it seemed like something that was trying to come off as a good movie, but this movie was just fucking silly. Every goddamn scene, everything that was happening was just silly. The pacing was so fast, rushing. I things. I would I would say that what, by what you were telling me that this movie is worse than the Last Jedi. I would say that, but I would also say that the Last Jedi is is the same amount of bullshit. Uh, well, no, the, the same game is being played with less bullshit. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. bullshit moments. Fucking even the light goddamn died. The, the 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 bullshit moments are not as many, mm-hmm. but they're still very they're it was, unexplainably it was so much horrible of it that I just I yeah. couldn't. I, it was an overload for me. Yeah, it right. It was just an absolute. That that's overload. like I couldn't even jam packed. It was bullshit. like the worst experience because during the Last Jedi, I had hope. At least you it. had moments of yeah, non like, bullshit. Okay, like this isn't bullshit. Maybe this could, you know, this movie. I was like, this is bullshit from the crawl to the fucking end yeah, credits. Yeah, right. Literally, okay, yeah. Bullshit. Right. Is that recording still? Yeah. All right. That's my thoughts on Star Wars: Rise of Skywalker. Terrible. I. It's sad. It's sad. And there's people out there who like it, and I, I, I don't get it. Fanboys. Get it. Fanboys. But last Jedi, I was like, okay, if you shut your mind off to this, this, and this, I okay, whatever. You can like that. 
Rise of Skywalker, to me, it's like you shut your brain off the entire entire movie. Every right. goddamn uh, whatever. J.J. J. Abrams did what he could. It's almost like a prank he's playing. Like you guys don't yeah. like anything. Check this out. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's terrible. That's all we got today. Yeah. On the saddest episode of the Power. No, on the podcast. worst episode of the Power, <laughs> Power Button Button podcast. podcast for the worst episode of Star Wars Skywalker God Saga. Damn. All right. Well, that's it. I'm, ugh, fuck fuck me. you. Till next time, guys. Peace out, motherfuckers.